Welcome to eGolf Real World Episode 5. Today we're going to look at something that's called TPMS. What's it stand for? Tire Pressure Monitoring System. It's supposed to indicate when the tire pressure is low. At least that's what we think. Let's find out. We're inside the car. You know, when you turn on the ignition, the instrument cluster lights up with a bunch of symbols, just testing them out. They're up for about three seconds and they go out. The one we're interested in is this one with the circle. It's the TPMS warning light. It lets you know that there is something wrong with the tire pressure and you need to take a look at it immediately, according to the manual. So you go out and you look at your tire. I can't tell if it's low pressure or high pressure by looking at it. So what do we do? We need a tire pressure gauge. Well, what's the pressure? Well, go to the driver's side door, open, and on the inside pillar, you'll see a sticker. And it tells you that we need 41 pounds per square inch. So 41 PSI is the number that we need to register. We go to the tire, take off the valve cap cover, and we make sure to place that somewhere where we can find it easily and don't lose it because you need to put that back after you're done. And then we're going to uh, read the pressure. I'm using an electronic tire gauge it's called an AccuTire. It was highly rated in a consumer magazine. And it reads 38 pounds. So we're three pounds low than the recommended setting. Tried another tire. This is the back tire. And we're reading 37. So we're four pounds low. And the system has not given us any warnings. So what does this mean? Well, if we find out what the system was really intended to do, we find out that the TPMS regulations were meant to warn drivers that a tire failure is eminent, not to indicate unsafe handling might occur. Well, that means that this system isn't for telling you the tire pressure is low. It's telling you that your tire is going to blow out or you're going to run flat very soon unless you do something about it because we've gone to the extreme ends. According to federal regulations, these things don't have to give a warning until they're 25% below the PSI that's required. So in this case, we need 41. This might trigger all the way down at about 31, at which point your tire will have failed because getting down to five pounds below pressure is dangerous and could result in tire failure. You want to make sure you have the right tire pressure. Here I'm just pushing down the caps because sometimes these bad boys get a little loose from all the driving. So what you want to do is you want to check your tire pressure every month to make sure it is set at 41 pounds. If you don't have a gauge, you need to buy one. When you're finished setting the tire pressure, go to the infotainment, press menu, then press vehicle. then press setup and go to tires and then tire pressure monitoring system hit set then hit confirm this will set the system to the new balanced 41 pounds per square inch do this anytime you put air into your tires or you change tires if this video has been helpful leave us a comment subscribe and as always Thank you for watching.